See, today is a very important day because 75 years back, what had happened on this day cannot be forgotten. And as Ambedkar had rightly said, those who forget their history cannot create history. So it is important that we realize the mistakes and we also embark upon building a new future. What our first Prime Minister Nehruji did with Kashmir has caused so much of tragedy. It has drained out the na na nation's wealth. It has taken away lives, unaccounted lives of the uh, Jawans and the civilians. And because of that blunder, today Kashmir has unnecessarily become an issue. A disputed issue which is not it is in the integral part of India so that is why it is very important that we take out default and build on that and set a correct narratives so that is why what blunders committed by Pandit Nehru ji has been corrected has been undone by Modi ji that is why I thought today is a a perfect anniversary, perfect occasion to bring out the truth in front of the people of the country. And when it comes to history, I cannot change the history. I cannot tweak the history. What I have done is simply put out the facts before the nation. Whatever Nehruji had said in the parliament, whatever Nehruji had stated in the constituent assembly, and whatever he did, all are part of the documents and these documents are something which people of the country must know it that is why i have stated that the blunders which were committed by nehru ji has been undone by modi ji 35 a uh, modi government's uh, policy is uh, completely failed in kashmir this kind of uh, uh, observations or allegation uh, doesn't deserve any kind of uh, uh, retort or any kind of response what I would like to only mention is that the integral part of India, Jammu and Kashmir, has been unnecessarily created as a disputed territory, which was totally and purely created by Nehruji. Now, after the removal of Article 370 and the subsequent attempts and all the efforts being made, are showing the result and whatever Modi ji has done this should have been done right in the beginning then we would have avoided all the tragedies which ensued so today whatever is happening in Jammu and Kashmir all the steps initiated by the government of India these are showing the dividends and this is the only way to move forward there is no alternative options whatsoever with regards to Jammu and Kashmir other than what Modi ji has done and under Modi ji's guidance and vision Home Minister Amit Shah ji is regularly monitoring he himself is traveling to Jammu and Kashmir all the senior cabinet ministers all the important functionaries of the government are visiting Jammu and Kashmir and for the first time Jammu Kashmir people also feel that they are clearly part of India. Jammu and Kashmir is not a disputed territory. These are the feelings of every person in Jammu and Kashmir. The only tragedy is one part of Jammu and Kashmir is still occupied by Pakistan and a portion of that has been handed over to China by Pakistan. That is the tragedy. Otherwise, within the proper Kashmir, today everybody feels that things are coming back to normalcy and this is the only way forward in the interest of a united India. See the five blunders which I had mentioned, you cannot compare or you cannot uh, separate them from each other. Whether it's uh, Maharaja Hari Singh's initial desire to join with the Union of India, which Nehru ji had rejected, or the subsequent entry of the Indian Army, where uh, Nehru had in again then also, he had uh, in a way prevented the Maharaja's effort to join Indian Union and then of course the, the joining accession has been made temporary then insertion of article 370 
Nehruji is, uh, you know, taking the Kashmir issue to United Nations and made it unnecessarily an international issue. No issue is small. All these issues, all the five issues are vital and big blunders. That is why I cannot compare which particular issue is bigger or smaller. All are critical and it led to the tragedy.